In this video, we'll look at the best decentralized exchanges you can use to trade crypto. There are many different DEXs, but it's going to depend on what kind of trader that you are and what assets that you want to trade in terms of which one you want to choose. So we're going to go through how to actually find these DEXs uh, and also the coins that you want to trade and then go through the best options for you. So I'll leave timestamps for all of the different DEXs and sections of this video down in the description. Firstly, what we want to do though, is find out what the best and biggest DEXs are, and then also how to actually choose a DEX dependent on which coin you want to trade. So if you come to CoinGecko, you can also choose CoinMarketCap. They do a similar thing, but I prefer CoinGecko. We're going to go to Decentralized Exchanges right here, and it's just going to show us a list of them. Now, this is a great way to look at some new DEXs or DEXs that you haven't seen before and check them out. Now, the um, exchange with the highest volume is Uniswap, as you can see here. So what you can see is that Uniswap has different versions and a lot of DEXs do this as well. So you'll see V1, V2, V3 or whatever. Um, and each DEX has its own volume traded on there. So you can look around and see, you know, which DEX is the best. Now, Uniswap is the best, the biggest, the most liquidity, but we also have Curve and PancakeSwap and then a few others. Now, if you click into these, you can see what the trading pairs are in terms of like what assets are traded the most on this DEX. And that's going to help you out in terms of which assets that you have as well so on uniswap we can see that ethereum and us dollar coin are the most traded but you can come and see the most traded pairs down here um, so that's good to just get an overview of what dexes are the other way to do it of course is just to look on the main page and say well which asset do you want to trade so i'm going to look up here and we're going to trade some lido so i'll put the ticker in which is ldo and then we'll click on this and we can go down to the bottom right here and see which uh, markets actually trade this. We're going to go to 24 hour volume right here. And then you'll see that the biggest market is Binance. And that's a centralized exchange. Binance are going to be the biggest market for most assets. That's just the way it is. They're the biggest player and they have the most liquidity. But as we can see down here, Uniswap V3. So that's a decentralized exchange. So now I know that if I want to tra trade Lido, Uniswap V3 has the most volume. That may be important for you, and it usually is important, but of course other things like uh, trading fees and most convenient and which chain is supported is gonna be very important too. So I'll get onto that now. Before looking at individual DEXs, we can split them up into the type of DEX that they are because they support different types of trading. So depending on which assets that you wanna trade, you'll choose one of these types of DEX. So one of them is known as Automated Market Maker or AMM. This is great for long tail assets that don't have a ton of liquidity. So a lot of people use Uniswap, which is the most popular. And if you're trading altcoins, then you'll be able to trade them on something like Uniswap. Um, and you can trade a very long tail of assets, right? Everything's gonna be listed on Uniswap. The next type is bonding curve type uh, exchanges, which are really good for assets that have a similar price. So you'll see Curve Finance, and what they do is have stablecoin pairs, and they have pairs such as ETH and staked ETH, which have very similar prices. They can actually give much tighter spreads because of this, which means lower cost trading fees and lower spreads, which is the cost of the trade as well. So when you have like assets, if you're trading one stable coin for another, you might want to look at a, uh, a uh, DEX like Curve or, you know, some of the copies of that. You also have an order book, which is the same as centralized exchanges. This only really occurs on scaling solutions. So if you're on Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain, um, not really very popular right now. But as scaling is coming in, then these are becoming a little bit more popular, exactly like a centralized exchange. And then you have exchange aggregators, which scour all of the different DEXs and then try to get you the best price. They're really the main categories right here. And you have centralized exchanges as well in terms of all the exchanges that you can trade on with crypto. We'll get onto the DEXs then. I'll show you Uniswap first because it's really the granddaddy of all of them, the first main DEX right here. So I'll show you this on my phone. I'll show the others on the computer because Uniswap isn't working right now on the computer, but um, it's all the same, right? So the layout is the same. You can choose which network that you trade on. Most DEXs these days are cross-chain, so they support multiple different chains. Just choose the chain that you want to trade on, um, and then you can see all of the different liquidity and assets on each of those different chains. Now, very simply, you just swap one asset into another, so you can choose any asset 
right here that you want to swap it into. Connect your wallet. Now, if you don't know how to connect wallets, I've got video guides for everything linked in the description. So check that out if you want. But what you can see if you go to tokens is all of the supported coins and the trading volume across different chains. So that's really simple. This is a market maker system. So no order books, no flashing screens or anything. You just choose which assets that you want to trade and it is going to work out what the price is based on supply and demand from what you're trading. So you don't really choose anything. There's a downside here that you can't put in limit orders. Other um, DEXs do uh, give you limit orders, right? Which is where you choose the price on Uniswap. You can't do that. So there's some pros and cons right here. This is definitely the biggest DEX in terms of trading volumes though. It's very simple. You just connect your wallet on the network and choose which assets that you want to trade. If you have two assets that have a very similar price, you might wanna trade them on Curve because it is generally cheaper to do so. And they have much tighter spreads, which will make the trade cheaper. This is Curve right here. So you can actually go and look at the pools very simply. So if you click on pools, you can see all of these supported assets. There's not gonna be a huge amount of assets supported here, but just assets that have a similar price. So if you wanna trade Ethereum into staked Ethereum, because you want those staking rewards, you can do that on here and you can see the price between them should be a lot cheaper for a very large type of trade. It's a very similar layout to Uniswap, but the assets supported are much fewer to get the much cheaper trading that you get from two assets that are very similar to each other in price. PancakeSwap is a fork of Uniswap and they forked it and put it on the Binance Smart Chain to make things cheaper and to support a lot of the assets on the Binance Smart Chain. This is very similar to Uniswap in that it supports a lot of different assets. You can go to swap here and you can see it looks very, very similar to Uniswap. So you can trade anything on the Binance Smart Chain right here. It's very, very popular as a DEX. And as you can see, they're actually starting to go multi-chain as well. So they're supporting Ethereum mainnet now and Aptos as well, which I think is gonna have a lot of games on there. So a lot of gaming tokens are gonna use PancakeSwap as their DEX. QuickSwap is another fork of Uniswap, but this DEX was specifically for Polygon. Uh, now, Uniswap you can use on Polygon as well, but this is a competitor. It's very, very similar. This is kind of the native DEX. And as you can see, when you swap, again, the layout is a little bit different. It's a great DEX. They're really working on it very well, but it's exactly the same as Uniswap in terms of what it's gonna do. So a long tail of assets if you just wanna swap one into the other. Velodrome is the native DEX for Optimism Network, which is a scaling solution for Ethereum. So um, you can see that Uniswap does support Optimism. Velodrome is a massive pool of capital as well. Very similar to Uniswap, as you can see here. They actually have two different methods, two different types of pool, which is stable pools and non-stable pools. Stable pools are those assets that have very similar prices, like one stable coin into another. The non-stable pools are just, you know, trading two different assets that are risk assets. So Velodrome has a decent amount of liquidity on the Optimism network if you don't want to use Uniswap for some reason. Um, they have a lot of pools here with like assets, especially on Optimism as well, and some of the assets that are gonna support it on that scaling solution. As more people are moving on to Ethereum layer two networks and not just using the main net, then new use cases become available. For example, Zigzag Exchange, which is now on ZK Sync, which is still a testing network. It's a better product. So maybe not a lot of people are gonna use this, but they've just launched on Arbitrum as well, which is that scaling solution for Ethereum as well. Um, you know, pretty trusted network right here. And as you can see, this is an order book DEX. So if you don't want to have the, those automated market maker DEXs like Uniswap, you wanna put some limit orders in here. Um, as you can see, this looks a lot more like a centralized exchange. The liquidity isn't massive on this DEX, um, but it is something that you can do now is actually use an order book, put limit orders in um, and see lots of trades right here. So this is you know a lot more traditional in terms of the, the DEX experience right here they're actually getting, but only on those scaling solutions. And so for right now, the liquidity isn't massive, but it will grow over time. An amazing product that a lot of people use instead of actually using any of these DEXs is one inch exchange or an, an exchange aggregator. There are a few of them. This is probably the leading example right here. Now one inch does a bunch of different things to actually get you the best price. The first thing it does is just compare all of the prices of all of the assets on all of the exchanges. And so it's an aggregator where it just says, well, this one is the best trade that you can get on a certain exchange. And so we're gonna use that one. 
The second thing it actually does, which is a little bit more complex, is it routes your order potentially through a bunch of different exchanges. Now there's reasons for this in the way that uh, decentralized exchanges actually trade assets. And when you trade an as asset, especially if you're trading a large sum, you can actually affect the pools quite a lot. And you get this thing known as slippage, which, which is where you, um, you just pay more for the trade. You get a worse trade. So what this does is it works out uh, how much you're trading and what the best route for your order can be. So actually, as you can see here, if you want to switch ETH into DAI, it's actually putting your order through two different exchanges. It's putting 12% through Velodrome and 70, uh, 22 now and 78% through Uniswap. And you see it changes all the time. It consistently works out what is the best exchange to put a certain amount of your order through to get the absolute best deal. So it's really good in terms of it saving you and getting you a much better trade. Now, the other thing it does is actually save on gas. One inch um, aggregates your orders. And so you can potentially save a lot in gas fees. Now, this is obviously very important for the Ethereum mainnet, not so much for other networks because they're so cheap anyway. But you can see it's just constantly changing which DEXs have the best prices and which percent of your order it's going to route through each different DEX. So a lot of people use one inch when they're trading just to get a better deal on what they're trading and you know trusting that this actually does the right thing. Now, in terms of fees, one inch say that they don't charge any fees. I've looked through all of their documents and I think what they do is essentially take a percentage on what they save you. So if they save you a couple of percent on the trade, I presume that they're gonna take maybe half a percent of what they save you or something like that as their profit. They don't charge you any extra fees on top. Um, I've tried to get that from the docs. I can't find exactly, but I assume they're taking something out of what they actually save you rather than adding anything else onto the trade. You can see they just consistently swap over a ton of different DEXs and show you the exact route that your order would take to get the best deal. In terms of fees, when you trade on a DEX, there's actually two things to worry about, not just the trading fees, but also the gas fees as well on any network. Um, so the network that you choose um, may actually depend on how cheap the fees are. Now, obviously Ethereum, the Ethereum mainnet is gonna be the most expensive and on Uniswap or Curve, you're gonna be paying maybe seven bucks, right, for a transaction, which isn't great. And that's gonna eat into a lot of trading fees. So for smaller trades, a lot of people just don't use Ethereum at all. And they use other networks like Optimism or Arbitrum, Binance Smart Chain. You can obviously figure this out for yourself, but here are the trading fees. Uniswap charges around 0.3%. It may change depending on the pair, and you can check that depending on the pair as well quite easily on Uniswap. Curve charge much less around 0.04 to 0.4, depending on the on the uh, the trading pair, 0.3 for quick swap, 0.25 for pancake swap. You can see all of these are basically the same thing, right? They're just different versions of the same thing. Curve is different because that's the uh, like-minded assets. Then you have no fees on one inch, but like I said, they probably take a small fee out of the, the, you know, the gas and everything they save you. Now, how does that compare to centralized exchanges? Well, as you can see, Binance is still way cheaper than all of these. You pay 0.075% plus zero gas fees, right? So it's still cheaper to use centralized exchanges. That's why I use centralized exchanges for most of my dollar cost averaging. It's just easier. And yes, I take all of the coins off of the exchanges onto the blockchain to keep them there. So I think there's solutions for every person. If you wanna pay a little bit more and have everything on the decentralized exchange, you can do that. But to be honest, like Binance, they're going to be cheaper and you can actually just transfer that out into a wallet. Binance actually link up with Trust Wallet now directly in your Binance account. So you can trade on the centralized exchange, move it out straight away. That might be something that you can do. I'll leave links to Binance below. They even give deposit bonuses for, you know, depositing on there as well and cheaper fees. They actually give free Bitcoin trading right now as well. I don't know how long, long that will last, but you can see there's just a lot of um, you know, incentives to trade on a centralized exchange and you can take your coins out onto something like a ledger device for cold storage or a trust wallet for hot storage as well. So there are different options for different people in terms of what you want to trade, how you want to trade it and, you know, what the best option is for you in terms of cost, speed and convenience. If you want specific video guides on each of these DEXs, I'll link those videos down in the description. They show you how to connect wallets and how to trade on them as well. Links to Binance and other storage solutions for your crypto down in the description as well. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.